it, this is the year of leveling up mentally physically spiritually like this is the year of being on our stuff hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl hunty it's your girl hunse and happy new year happy 2021 happy new year just y'all we made it we made it and that's all that matters we made it welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel hello hello to all my new subscribers i'm back with another video and if you aren't subscribed you might as well hit that subscribe button because anyways welcome back to my channel and today i got a new video for you i got a video that is not a vlog i was like swirling through um on my videos i was like dang i have been filming vlogs for the past four months like nothing but vlogs so today i have some new content for you guys and a little something a little different we're bringing back the advice videos that i used to do so welcome all right y'all get your notebook get your phone out because we taking notes today so as you can tell by like the title of this video today we are going to be talking about how to just set our intentions for 2021 and just some tips and tricks that I have and things that I'm implementing in my own personal life in order to make sure that we have the most fabulous 2021 ever and that we're reaching all of our goals and we're just having a way more positive mindset about life in general. So as you guys already know, I'm prepared. I got my little, I got my little notes today of the things that we are going to talk about. So we're going to get into it. And I got my planner too, so I'm going to be talking about a planner. So get your notebooks out, get your pencils, get your pens, get everything that you need. So first things first, just everyone, a round of applause, like a pat on the back. We made it to 2021. Um, honestly, we're not going to talk too much about her. We're not going to talk, you know, I'm not going to drag her or anything because I feel like we have publicly dragged her enough. And when I say her, I'm talking about 2020. So we just not gonna talk about her a lot in this video because she does not deserve the attention. But anyways, it's 2021, it's a new year and I just feel so much, I, I'm just ready. I'm ready to come back. I'm ready to accomplish all the things that I want to accomplish. So I wanna share some of the tips and tricks and the things that I do to kind of get my mind right and to get myself you know, prepared to really be serious about my goals and be serious about the things that I want to achieve and everything that I deserve. I'm just, we we're on it this year, period. So my first tip and like my first thing that I would really suggest is setting your intentions for this year. It's early, you know, it's early. Get your notebook, pull out your phone. Like it doesn't matter and set your intentions that you have for this year. So I'm going to show you guys. I actually, I got this planner for Christmas and, um, I love it because before the year started, there was a page where I had to set out my intentions for the year. And I love that because I was like, it made me actually sit down, pull my pen out and actually write about the things that I want to do this year and the things that I want to accomplish, um, the things that I want to manifest. Like I just went in. So first things first, set your intentions for the year. So when I say like set your intentions for the year, it could be anything, anything you want to achieve, any goals that you have for yourself, any things that you still want to work on from the previous year, it can literally be anything, but really like sitting down, writing it or like typing it on your phone or your computer or whatever can really help you get more in like the mode to really like start and like internalizing and processing and thinking about the goals that you want to achieve so i really 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 really, really highly suggest you get a notebook and you write down the things that you want to accomplish it could be anything no goal is too big or too small like nothing look the universe is yours um the like the sky is the limit like you can do whatever you put your mind to so set your intentions but if you're like me i really suggest getting a planner and just writing down things that you want to accomplish like for example for me one of my intentions for 2021 is to grow my YouTube, grow my channel, um, grow my following, um, and connect more with you guys. I really want to do that. So that is something I wrote down and that's a goal of mine. So I made sure I did that. Another thing I wrote down, um, I want to make Dean's List like my last semester of college. So like just write down any, it could, it could be anything. 
could be you trying to keep your room cleaner or you trying to wake up every morning and make yourself breakfast like it could be you simply just wanting to take better care of yourself so your intentions could literally be anything so write that down sis write it down right now pause this video and get to writing because I know you guys are all ambitious and you guys are all like you guys all have goals so let's go get after it because there's no excuse as to why we couldn't we can't there's no excuse as to why we cannot achieve all of our goals this year and there's no excuse as to why we can't be that girl be that boy there's no excuse as to why we can't so in order to get to that next step we have to get our mind right and getting our mind right writing down them intentions writing down your goals period number two my next step <laughs> um the next step is actually like implementing your intentions and like working towards them daily so like you actually working towards your goals you actually like like it's so easy to um be like oh yeah i want to do this i want to do that and that but if you're not like physically, like if you're not mentally, physically working towards those goals, you're never going to get there. You know what I mean? Like this is not the time to be lazy. We can't we can't be lazy when we want to achieve our goals. Like we have to put the work in that. That's just point blank, period. Like we have to put the work in if we want to achieve our goals. So make sure like every day you're working towards implementing them, like whether that's you like, OK, let's say oh like for me for instance you're trying to eat healthier like you really want to eat healthier this year like you want to put better foods into your body like more fruits and more vegetables start implementing that in your daily life slowly start to introduce that into your life so like okay maybe start um why can't i think of the name what was i saying meal prepping meal prepping that's the word you know, I want to start eating healthier and like I slowly want to get into like a meal plan so I can slowly start meal prepping, maybe meal prep for two days or three days so I can slowly start implementing it into my life so that I can get used to it. But it's so important to like once you set your intentions, you have to make sure you're implementing them into your daily life and you have to make sure that you're actually working towards them. Like we can't be lazy, like we actually have to work towards the things that we want. And the goals that we want to achieve we have to work really hard so that's my next step is to just stay focused and to make sure every day you do something to help you reach those goals like for example for youtube i just said i want to be more consistent and i want to grow my following and i want to do this and i want to do that well if i don't put in the work i'm not going to get the results you know what i mean so like if i don't film for two weeks i don't put anything out and i go ghost that's not me implementing my intention to be successful on youtube like you know what i mean so like we have to put in the work you know it's all cute to write it down in your journal but we actually have to like put in the work and like actually work towards the things that we want simple my last tip is manifesting self-love you being your biggest supporter so let's talk about it so for me, when I wrote in my journal and I wrote down my intentions, I was writing down like my goals, but I was also manifesting and how I manifest. Personally, I talk as if I already have the things that I want. So for example, you know, um, I want to reach a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Like I want to be able to get to a point one day where um, I have a thousand subscribers on YouTube and you know, I can start, I can start making some money. Like there's nothing wrong with that. So um, that's a goal for me. So when I'm manifesting, I talk as if I already have it. Like I literally will write down, um, I literally will write down, I'm so grateful for my 1000 subscribers. Um, this has made me so happy. Like I'm so grateful. I'm forever grateful and forever blessed. Like I, I, talk like that i talk as if i already have it you know what i mean like you just have to talk as if you have it and that's another thing you have to be a boss you may not feel like it you may not feel like you're a boss or you're you're this or you're that like we all have our moments where we feel down but you gotta think you gotta act like you're a boss 
because boss behavior you'll attract the things that you want like you just have to you have to be your biggest supporter you have to be your biggest supporter you have to you just there's no if ands or buts there's there's no way to go around it you have to be your biggest supporter because who else who else is going to do it you have to be your biggest supporter so everyone going starting this new year off like we have to stop the the self-doubt the the negative self-talk that we do a lot and i'm not saying you have to be perfect because i'm not perfect and i still like do it i will still say like negative things towards myself and then afterwards i'm like oh honey you shouldn't say that about yourself like that was actually like kind of mean like why are you saying that why are you being so mean to yourself so no one's perfect and i just feel like it's natural and it's human for us to like be negative towards ourselves sometimes but you don't want to make it a habit you want to be more positive than negative you know what i mean so you have to be your biggest supporter and that that's just that you have to be your number one cheerleader you have to be the number one person who is like preaching for yourself like you just have to be that person you have to change the way you think it's literally all mental it's all mental guys you have to change the way you think and the way you treat yourself you know what i mean like it's just that's just what you have to do so yeah i just feel like in order to reach your goals you have to work hard you have to be intentional about your um you have to be intentional about your whole demeanor and your behavior and you know the steps that you're taking to reach your goals you have to implement your goals like you actually have to work towards them and i feel like sometimes we forget about that because you know sometimes i be falling short too we actually have to work towards the things we want like it's not just gonna come crawling to us like we have to work towards the things we want and along with that we have to think as if we already have it like we have to have a very positive demeanor and positive attitude if we want to get to the place we want to get to so yeah that's like pretty much my little my little pep talk i just really want everyone to feel like they're that girl they're that boy because you are and you can accomplish anything you want to accomplish this is how i talk to myself in my head whenever i'm feeling down or discouraged like you have to talk to yourself as if you already have the things that you want you have to be your number one supporter because you can't rely on other people to do it for you you have to be your number one supporter period you have to be a boss like you just it, this is the year of leveling up mentally physically spiritually like this is the year of being on our stuff no if ands or buts there's no other way there's no other way we have we have to we have we just we just have to you guys get what i'm saying y'all get what i'm saying but that's pretty much it that's all i had for this video i woke up this morning and i was just like you know what it's the new year and i was like we're changing the way we do things around here so i was like I'm gonna make a video because I just feel like this is just my motivational speech for the day. And I was like, I need to tell you guys. So that's me telling you guys. But <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just a little bit of like tips and advice. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you've been watching this video so far this long and you're not subscribed to my channel, girl, what are what are you doing? Subscribe subscribe like comment let me know let me let me know if you guys like this video like always comment down below give me suggestions like what do y'all want from me what do you what do you want from me and i'll do it for you comment down below what you want but that's pretty much it that's all i have today you guys stay blessed stay healthy stay safe and let, let's make this year our year period period i'll see you guys in my next video